I'm here now with Scott McEwen, who wrote American Sniper with Chris and Jim DeFelice, and Chris's friend Brandon Webb, also a Navy SEAL, who helped train Chris to be a sniper. I am so sorry for your loss. Thank you, George. And, and Scott, you wrote that Chris wasn't killed on the battlefield, but you believe he did give his life for his country. Yeah, I think that's true because Chris had devoted so much of his life to helping wounded and uh, injured American military individuals returning from the war. And that was such a big part of who he was. Yeah, I think Chris had a difficult time transitioning from military life to civilian life himself, and I, I think that was a big reason why he cared so much about helping other veterans. You know, we have a big issue with PTSD this, these days, and, you know, here's a guy that had was very successful shortly after the, he got out of the SEAL teams and could have done anything he wanted, but chose to still give a large part of his time to, to these veterans' causes. It was close to his heart. And in American Sniper, he is quite open, Chris was quite open, about his own difficulties with reentry. It was very important to Chris that he could show that there is a light at the end of this tunnel. And that if you look to the light and you do the things that you can to help yourself and really work to get yourself out of these, if you will, PTSD scenarios that you get yourself in, that you can move yourself and get healthy again. And coming off uh, his time in Iraq, which is just unparalleled, uh, four tours, seven medals, more than 150 kills, um, you helped train Chris. Did you know from the start that he was something special? You know, we all knew Chris was a special guy and, you know, very humble, you know, to this, to the time he got out. He, he didn't really want to publicize the number of, of kills that it was all about the, the lives that he saved in Iraq and, and helping veterans, raising awareness around these veterans and issues. And if any possible good can come out of this, it would be to shine a bigger light, a brighter light on these problems that so many veterans are having right now. Yeah, and a lot of guys like Chris are taking the issue into their own hands and making a difference because you know the, the VA has gotten to be a pretty large bureaucracy and guys slip through the cracks. What is the one thing you want everyone to know about your friend? I think that Chris would want to say a prayer for not only his children but other children of, of veterans that, that need help as well in the similar circumstances to what he's found himself in here. We've lost a true American hero. And they all are in our prayers today. Thank you both very much.